I get it. You've been dicking around on the trail for a week. You've been enjoying some wonderful classic campfire cuisine, but now it's time to get a little something fresher in the system. You still want to use your camping equipment. You're not good ready to go to town to go to a restaurant, or maybe there's not one around, but you've caught yourself a nice piece of fish. So here I'm going to show you how you can use that same camping gear to whip up a recipe that's fit for food and wine. So come along. Welcome back to Dickin' Around Outdoors. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. For those of you who have subscribed, thanks for joining us. Glad to have you. If you haven't subscribed, little red button down in the lower right corner. Today, we are going to make salmon. We're gonna do that in our trusty Banks Fry Bake 10 inch pan. The ingredients for today's recipe, we have two nice sockeye salmon fillets, butter, a lemon, a few sprigs of thyme, olive oil, white wine. We're actually using vermouth for this, half a cup of shallots, and some cut up cherry tomatoes. So come along, let me show you how to make a recipe worthy of food and wine at the camp. As awesome as two pieces of sockeye salmon sound, we're gonna go ahead and pair that today with a Tasty Bites Ancient Grains. All we have to do is warm that up in the pot on top of the solo stove. And we're gonna combine that with a nice green salad that, it, that has lettuce, radishes, and we're gonna whip up a quick Italian dressing from Shabika's Mission Fig Balsamic and Lemon Olive Oil and a Penzi's Italian dressing base. So again, most things here, you don't need cooler space for. They're easy to carry when you camp. All right. We've got the fry bake on to warm up. In that, we have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. We've also got the water on to get that boiling. While that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and slice the lemon. What you wanna do is you wanna slice this up in thin slices. Now that we have the lemon sliced, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to toss those into the fry bake, saute those for a minute or two, then we're going to throw in the scallions, soften those up. Then we're going to put the lid on and do a shallow poach on the fish. We have the lemon sauteing. We're going to let this go for about a minute, then we're going to flip it. And then we'll toss in the shallots. One thing I do want to remind you of that I mentioned in another video, when you are sauteing, don't be skimpy on the coals. So you want a good bed of coals under there to heat the pan up enough to go ahead and saute food. We will remove some of the coals when it comes time to poach the fish because we don't need the pan this hot. But when you're sauteing, you want a nice hot pan. The lemons have been going for a couple minutes. We're just gonna add the shallots. Give those a quick stir. And let those go for about five minutes or until they soften up. All right, we're five minutes in. Everything's looking really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little tower, if you will, in the middle of the pan. I'm gonna drop our sprigs of thyme on top of that. And we're gonna set our salmon fillets right on top. If you'd like to remove the skin from the salmon before you cook it, go ahead. I don't feel a need to. And lastly, at this point, we're just gonna add the vermouth. Let that come to a simmer. And once that comes to a simmer, we're gonna go ahead, remove the pan, cover it up, adjust the coals, and we'll be back. We've removed quite a few of the coals from the bottom because we don't need them anymore. Now we're gonna go ahead and poach. We've left six coals on the bottom and we've put 14 on top. We're gonna let that go for about six minutes before we check it. In the meantime, We've got a nice rolling boil on the water pot, so we're gonna go ahead and put the Tasty Bites in. So for the Tasty Bites, all you have to do is submerge it in boiling water for five minutes and it warms right up. So 
It's been six minutes, so let's just give a quick look, see how we're doing. Most likely done, but I just want to make sure. As you can see, the salmon is starting to cook nicely. The fat is coming out of the meat. Let's see if it flakes. It's flaking pretty well, but I think we're going to give it another minute or so. So let's put the lid back on and let it cook for another minute. Our minute is up. What we're going to do now is take the salmon out. We're going to put it on a plate. We're going to cover it to keep it warm with the lid. Once the salmon is out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a sauce. So we're going to stoke the pan up just a little bit more, throw some coals under it while the salmon is resting, and start uh, to make the sauce. To make the sauce, we basically add four tablespoons of butter. We're going to add the tomatoes. We're going to let that butter melt and we're going to swirl it around and make a nice beurre blanc. Okay, we've been going for about three minutes now. The sauce is looking really good. I'm going to just add a little salt. And we are ready to put this on a plate. Hey, that looks good. Hey, hon, I think I found a recipe we could cook in the woods. You heard me mention a couple times in this video that this recipe is fit for food and wine. There's a good reason for that. It's actually an adaptation of a recipe from the April issue of Food and Wine. Their version, cooked at home, is called Shallow Poached Salmon with Leek Beret Blanc. I wanted to show you how easy it was to adapt recipes from books or anything that you would cook at home and cook them in the woods. I hope this helps. I hope you try the recipe. I think you'll really like it. If you do try it, let me know below what you thought. And there you have it. Poached salmon with a beurre blanc sauce, accompanied with ancient grains and a green salad with a Italian vinaigrette. All done at the campsite on your normal camp cooking utensils. Banks fry bake, the solo stove, charcoal, and a little bit of wood. That's all it takes to eat really well in the woods. So as always, thanks for joining us. To all the subscribers, we really appreciate you. We look forward to having you join us next time. For all of those who haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe below. You don't want to miss any of this action. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day. I'm going to go ahead and try some salmon. Huh. So tasty.